What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna show you guys how to get to 10,000 followers in five months like we did using promoted posts. It's gonna be a fun one, stick around, stay tuned. So for us, oh, hold on, check out the king, he's like, he's chilling. I know you guys have been asking about seeing the pets in a few more videos. The office is a little cluttered today, but we recently did a video that got such good response on how we hit 35,000 followers in one year on Instagram. And in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to maximize your growth by promoting your posts, which is the only thing I didn't include in that previous video, talking about hashtags, posting more, etc. And what we're gonna do is show you guys in depth on how to promote these and get the most bang for your buck. Invest a little bit into your page and you'll see those returns in the future with things like brand deals, starting to make an income around your Instagram account, and other things of that nature the larger audience has a ton of benefits so let's go ahead and talk to you guys about how to get this done so first things first let's open up our Instagram app and the one thing you're gonna want to do is go to your home page and you're gonna switch your account to a business account now there's no drawbacks to a business account but there's so many upsides like being able to for one promote your posts but not only that, also see more insights, view when your followers are more active, uh, really see the type of audience that you have for your page. But what I want to do is help you grow your account, truly get more followers. And so what you're gonna wanna do first is switch your account over to business. During this process of switching over to a business account, you're actually gonna have to pair your Facebook page with it. And for me, for some reason, I couldn't figure out how to link them. And so I just had it make me a second Facebook page that I don't use and don't really care about. But the fact is to run my ads and promote my posts and same for you, you're gonna have to pair a Facebook account with it. And so what I had done is just made that second Facebook account, do whatever it takes to switch your account over to business because that is the first and most crucial step. Otherwise you cannot promote these posts. So once you've switched over to business account, you'll see you can go through your feed and every single one of your posts is gonna show an icon now that says promote. And you have an opportunity to now put some money behind these posts and get more exposure. And I'm gonna show you what I did in the beginning, which was going to it blind, not knowing which post to put some money into, how much should I put towards the post, who should I promote the post to, all these things we're gonna dive into. So be sure to stick around till the end if you really wanna maximize the benefits of promoting these posts. But step number one, I wanna take you back to when I first started promoting posts. Some of my first promotions, I think I put like five to ten dollars behind most posts over one one to two days. You can select the duration of time you want your promotion to run for. You can select the dollar amount. You can even see how many people it's probably going to promote your post to. It's fantastic. So let me give you an example. And we're going to go into a random post at first. And we're going to hit promote. Maybe you've got a picture that you think would do really good. And so you go ahead and hit promote. When people see your promotion, and you've probably seen them scrolling through your feed now on Instagram as well, whether it's a business, uh, just a page, it might say shop now, learn more, watch more, etc you can set that up and to your liking and you can direct people to wherever you want them to go through that link. So this is a very powerful tool if maybe you're doing something like Amazon affiliate marketing or you have a website you're trying to lead people to, you have a product or service you're offering and you wanna link them straight to that product or service. Instagram ads are one of the cheapest ways to get in front of the most amount of people in 2020 and the prices are going up very soon. That is what matters so much is how many people are now starting to pour money into these ads and once more and more people and businesses with their larger budgets start pouring money into these ads, Ads, it's gonna cut us smaller creators out of the equation and they're gonna be way too pricey for the amount of people we can hit and then they're not gonna have the same value they have today strictly right now when you need to be promoting posts if you're trying to grow especially if you have a smaller page this is a way to get out in front of just as many people as uh, the accounts that have maybe a half a million followers etc and really grow fast so let's say you want to put a couple bucks behind a post to promote it to more people and you go ahead and just select where to send people and it goes to your profile directing to your profile Profile is a way to get people to see your page that have never seen it before give them an opportunity to take a look into what it is that you're posting and maybe be inclined to follow because they see your page and so by hitting next you can direct them to your profile and now you select your target audience I first did my first post and what I recommend maybe for you as well is do automatic when you hit automatic it says Instagram targets people like your followers but the main benefit to automatic is you don't have to pick anything and have any worries you can just go ahead and put ten dollars behind your first First post or something like that and you can let it run for a couple days I'll show you what I mean by a couple days too so we've picked automatic and we hit next it shows you two bars one to adjust your budget on how much you want to spend for your promotion and one is for the duration how long you want that post to be promoted for so let's say we want to do five dollars a day 
over two days. Let's say we want to promote this post uh, over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So early Saturday morning, we go ahead and hit this. Your total spend is $10 over two days. Now with this budget, it's showing estimated reach is 2,800 people to 7,400 people. You could literally with $10 potentially reach 7,400 people and get them to view your profile. This is insane. I'm going to show you how to even dial this in specifically to the people you want to target and it is going to make your Instagram game go from zero to 100 overnight. Guys, I'm just going to add this in to the edit for context. So for example, in the last week, I've gained over 700 followers with the top day being Thursday where we gained 131 new followers. And that is with about 6,000 profile visits in the last seven days. Once you switch your account to business at the top of your profile, it shows how many profile visits you've gotten. So if you can get your profile visits up, that's more people seeing your page, more potential to get more followers. And so this is the type of result you can look to see if you're putting money into your post. Let's get back to the video. So after you set your budget and duration, you go ahead and hit next again. And that is literally where you see your promotion, your preview. Uh, you can take a look at how it's going to look uh, in people's stories or in their main feed. It shows you a little preview. So let's do that. So let's see if we we're going to see this in our feed. You can see all it says is view Instagram profile. And after a few seconds, if they continue to look at it, the bar goes blue. So somebody would see this across their page. They would hit view Instagram profile and it would take them to my page, your page, etc. Now, if it's in the story, it would look something like this. So here we go, we have that same image and it pops up as an ad and you can see the swipe up to visit Instagram profile if maybe they're compelled because of this image to take a look at our account. Now this is one of potentially 7,400 people that might see this for $10. Remember, this is insane. So once you've looked at your preview, you can just verify all your information on this uh, final page and you can hit create promotion. I could literally have this running right now. Now, once you go ahead and hit that OK button, it's going to say your promotion is being submitted for approval. You likely will get your promotions approved very quickly, but if you're making your first promoted post, it can take, I would say, up to 24 hours to get that promotion approval. And so just be prepared for that because it doesn't happen within the first five minutes for you. And also, there are certain things that will limit your post from being promoted, depending on what type of material you're trying to promote, depending on what is said in your captions. Uh, you can't use foul language, for example. Uh, also also the amount of text in your image, if you have text overlaid, it will, it, Instagram tells you this, but it will reach less people and sometimes even not be valid and won't get pushed out to as many people at all if there is text within your image. Some people are actually going to not like that I'm putting this information out there because of the fact that it's going to give you a huge advantage and uh, taking over this Instagram real estate right now that is up for grabs on the cheap if you want to compare it to uh, how much it's going to cost in the future. So I'm giving you guys some fantastic information because I simply want you guys to be able to grow your pages around whatever you love posting around your passions and maybe even start making an income like we have through our Instagram account because of it so here's what we do now a year later we really have fine-tuned it and we're gonna show you how so the first little secret is going back up to that top right tab and you can view your insights now that you're a business account and you can look at your post and you can actually categorize them so and say look at every post I've made within the last two years and it's going to say by reach most likely, but we don't care about the reach as much as somebody who actually took action to follow our account. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on reach and we're going to change that and we're going to change that to follows. You can now see which posts have gained you the most followers in the last whatever time frame you set up. So we said two years since we haven't even been posting this content for two years, that's going to guarantee we see all of our posts. And you'll notice that some of these posts have gained us a lot of followers. This one 60 second video that I had made, it has actually gained us 1400 followers. And I've put money in this post over and over. I've continued to promote it for maybe $20 here and $20 there. I think the post that gained us the most followers was when we did a giveaway. And you can maximize your giveaways by putting some money behind those as well and helping them reach more people. I won't even post a giveaway anymore without putting money behind it because of how much value it's gonna bring towards that post. If there was any post to to put money into, it's going to be a giveaway in my opinion because a lot of these giveaways include requirements such as must follow your account. Now if you're going to do a giveaway and you want a lot of people to see it, and let's say you're in fishing like me, you would promote that to people with fishing interests. You can maximize the results from your giveaways versus just your followers seeing it. So like this giveaway for instance has gained us to over 2,000 followers. Uh, the number is 2146 off of this one giveaway post. So now that I've shown you some of these numbers and what's possible, 
possible, I would like for you to go ahead and select followers within that time frame, and you're gonna just go ahead and pick the one with the most followers you've gained, and that's the post you want to promote. Not the one that you think is gonna perform good, but the one that Instagram is telling you is performing good. So whichever post is getting you the most followers, or those top two or three, are the posts that I would put money into. And if you have some recent posts, you can also dial it back, and you can say you wanna look at posts that have gotten you the most followers within the past 30 days. We'll go ahead and do that. Of course, when you're a smaller page, you might only get uh, anywhere from zero to 10 followers off of one post, but as you grow, you'll start to gain more and more and more, and you'll realize that maybe you're posting certain images or videos that are doing better, and let's say one of them starts to get you, you know, 20 followers or 30 followers or 40 followers off of one post, those are the ones that you wanna put money into versus the ones that don't get you any followers, but maybe got a lot of likes. Likes, comments, etc. Those are great, but that's not the post that I want to promote. I don't want to promote a post that got 10,000 likes and didn't get me any followers. I want to promote a post that has gotten me a lot of followers and then I know that people are going to be more inclined to follow me off of that post because it's proven. And so those are the posts that we put money into. <laughs> All right, making a quick move into the dining area and also switching up audio to the Sennheiser wireless mic. If you guys are curious about it, I will link it down in the top of the description below. And now that we have covered how to switch your account over to business, we've talked about how to promote your first couple posts using that automatic uh, tab. And I think automatic is very powerful because once you run a few promotions on automatic, after that promoted post has concluded, you can go back in and view your analytics from that post. This is where you gain the insights on how you can fine tune your audience to select for your future posts. I mean by that is you can see the age group that was really engaging on that uh, promoted post. You can see uh, what percentage is men versus women. You can gather what their interests are maybe and what states they're in. Uh, and so that automatic really gives you an idea of how to fine tune your post from there on. And then of course after that we talked about how you can select certain posts that are guaranteed to get you the most results. And the reason I dive in on that is because you could select any post that you think is going to do good and put money behind it. And let's use this example. You could pick 10 of your posts that you think are really good and you want to put $10 behind, for instance. That's $100 total, and that $100 might not get very far. It might not get that many followers for you. You might not see that great of results, but if you go into that Insights tab, like I had mentioned, and you look at specifically the posts that have gotten you the most followers organically, just already without promotion, and you put money into those, you could put that same $100 behind one post that has gotten you the most followers, and that $100 behind one post could go further than the 10 posts you put $10 behind because it's proven that people will follow you more off of that post. You see what I'm saying? I believe you should not pick your post to promote. I believe you should let the post pick themselves based on the results they get, and you can view that in that Insights tab. Giveaways are the one exception. I think if you're gonna post a giveaway, you need to make sure that you go ahead and put money behind it to maximize its benefits. And one of the crucial aspects of promoting a giveaway is you have to know, once you go and promote your post, you can't edit the text within the caption. So if you are promoting a giveaway, what I like to do is maybe post that giveaway and uh, make sure everything within my caption is just how I want it. Then I go ahead and I put the money behind the post and, and you'll see those great results. I think that post that had gained us 2,000 followers, for instance, said that maybe 50% of the people who saw that post came from the promotion that I put behind it. And I wanna say I put $100 behind that giveaway. And so for $100 to gain an extra 1,000 followers, if that was really true based on the analytics, uh, is, uh, it seems like a no-brainer to me. Every thousand really makes a difference towards getting to that 10k mark once you hit that 10k mark it's invaluable to companies that want to partner with you doing swipe ups to link to their products it's also invaluable for yourself if you want to link up to your newest YouTube videos you want to link to your website again affiliate marketing just anything and everything you can link it's so great my wife and I are literally doing whole 30 diet for January and I've done a post on my story and I said swipe up to check out the whole 30 diet with a, po a picture of food that we were eating and so it's just you can utilize it for anything it really helps you get more engaged with your followers and swipe ups are only available after you hit 10,000 followers and that's why we're trying to show you how to get there quickly using these promoted posts. Now let's show you how to really target your audience. Let's say you have a health and wellness brand that you're trying to grow out in California and you only want to promote it to people who are into fitness and health and you can do that. So I've got a great idea to show you guys an example of a promoted post. We're gonna go ahead and promote this picture of the a7 III we just bought and I'm gonna go ahead and link to my Amazon affiliate account. That way if somebody purchases it, I can make a percentage off of that sale. 
And so it's also for you guys watching this video. If you guys are in the market for an A7 III, I've got it linked in the description. Anytime you buy through any of my Amazon affiliate links, it helps support this channel and helps me create more videos like this. So I wanna thank you guys in advance if you choose to pick up this camera through my links. I really appreciate it. And what I'm gonna show you how to do here is hit promote on that post specifically. So I'm gonna direct them to my website. And my website is actually gonna be my Amazon affiliate link to the camera. So I have my Amazon affiliate link for the Sony a7 III camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the website I'm directing people to. And when they click on that, they're gonna see learn more. Actually, I'm gonna hit shop now. So the different action buttons are learn more, shop now, watch more, contact us, book now, and sign up. Those are the action buttons you will get people to see as they scroll through their feed and are seeing your ad and it says something along the lines of shop now that links to your product, watch more that links to your YouTube video, book now if you have a, something for them to sign up for, learn more if it's learn more about whatever product you're offering or service. And so these are the options. I'm gonna pick shop now to link them to the Amazon link for the camera. Now we select our target audience and I'm going to to manually create my own and this is where things get interesting and you can really fine-tune your audience we're gonna name this audience camera gear and then you pick location so for me I'm just gonna pick USA it says the potential people reached is 230 million and so we really want to taper that down and so what I'm gonna do now is pick somebody's interests what are they interested in and for me I'm gonna go ahead and say Sony Alpha 7 so it's saying that I can target 1.5 million people who are interested in this camera in the United States and I'm gonna hit done. So interest is Sony Alpha 7. Next, I'm gonna do age and gender. So for me, I'm gonna promote this to male and female because there's a lot of people who are interested in camera gear. When I do my fishing posts, a lot of times I just promote to men because I notice that 90 to 92% of the people who engage on my posts are men. So for me, if I'm gonna put 20 or $100 towards a post, I don't want to spend half of that money where it's pushing it out in front of females as well when I know it's not gonna yield the best results for me. And that is because I ran some on automatic and saw those analytics, but also over time just my organic posts show that men all oftentimes engage or follow more and so that is what I do for those posts however for this one on the camera gear I'm gonna promote to men and women as our age group we're gonna do 18 to 35 I think 18 to 35 is a good range people who are looking at purchasing these cameras the Sony Alpha 7 and so I'm gonna go ahead and hit done now it's saying I have 1 million people that I could reach that are between 18 and 35 years old uh, male and female that are interested in the Sony Alpha 7 in the United States so I'm gonna hit done. Now I'm going to select my budget. If I wanted to do $10 a day over two days, I could reach almost 10,000 people. So now we're on the final page. It's showing you are all set. It's showing the destination we are sending them to, the action button being shop now, the audience being that camera gear one we just created, and the budget and duration being $20 over two days, aka $10 a day. We're going to go ahead and hit create promotion ahead and make this promotion and I will show you guys the results on my story on Instagram once it's concluded so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram check me out it's down in the description it's just Weston underscore underscore Smith I will go ahead and show you how many clicks we receive towards that Amazon affiliate link and I will also show you how many likes it gets etc and so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and now you'll see thanks your promotion has been sent for review I'll screenshot that it now says pending approval on that post and this post has currently got 555 likes, which is much lower than my normal fishing post uh, because it's something entirely different. Based on everything I've told you, this is not a post I would regularly promote, but for today's example, I wanted to try something different and I wanna see how many people, if I send it just to folks who are interested in camera gear, might actually follow or take action. Once the promotion starts, it's gonna show a couple different statistics here. It's gonna show how many people have actually clicked on the Amazon link from the promotion and uh, other stats like that that we will get back to you on in the story of my Instagram. Instagram over the next couple days after it concludes. So now that we've shown you a full-on example of something I don't normally do, let's talk about what I do frequently, which is fishing posts and how you guys can maximize this. I know you've been waiting for this, a lot of my following, and I appreciate you guys for sticking around till the end. Let's show you guys how to grow your fishing Instagram pages very fast, utilizing my specific target audience. We are gonna do this one in real time, and I think it's gonna be a great example. So we're gonna go ahead, click that icon. We are gonna go to the Insights tab, just like I had mentioned. We're gonna hit the wrong button. We're gonna hit, <laughs> we're gonna go down here to post and see all. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna go, we're gonna go within the last two years, just as I had mentioned, and we're gonna switch it from reach to follows. Follows is what we want. So, so now some of these are giveaways and so I'm not gonna re-promote a giveaway. 
Always pick the ones right here in the top region to do your promotions if you really wanna maximize how many followers you get per dollar spent. But I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit and let's promote something a little bit different. Here's a video that I have made that has gained us uh, 148 followers and we're just gonna put $10 behind it. So we'll hit promote again, but here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna send them to the profile and we're gonna go ahead and hit next. So they'll be viewing our Instagram profile and we're gonna go to my specific fishing interest. Okay, so here's the basis for almost all of my fishing posts. If you guys want to maximize your fishing posts, promote to this audience. I have got it dialed in through trial and error and you guys can just take it from me. This is what works. The United States has yielded fantastic results given that's where I'm located and it seems that most of my followers view within the United States. And so I picked United States, then interest fishing. This is where I believe you can go overboard. You can easily put in multiple interests and say outdoors or hunting or um, all, all kinds of stuff. But I've noticed if you just put interest fishing, you still have an insane amount of potential reach. And so you don't need to do much more than that. I wouldn't include a whole lot of interest. It's going to just make it more wishy-washy. You only want people who are interested in fishing if you're posting fishing content, my opinion. Now for gender, I seem to have the best results with these specs right here. And remember, I had ran posts on automatic and changed up the ages throughout the last year and found these to be the best results. I have realized that a lot of people who like the fishing posts that I make are between 13 and 18 years old and all the way up until about 35 to 40 years old and then it tapers off as far as how many people really view those posts. Also, if I include females that I promote to, if I put $100 towards this post and I were to select females as well, it's likely that only 8% of females are going to engage on this and so for me just selecting men ages 13 through 40 is the the results i'm trying to go for so i'm going to go ahead and hit done if you guys are making fishing posts and you promote to that audience you will see results i can guarantee it so we're going to hit next and we're going to do budget i'm not going to spend a whole lot on this one i just did another example in this video i'm going to go ahead and spend five dollars a day over two days today is saturday january 11th so this post is going to run through today and tomorrow most likely and uh, expire on monday which is perfect so we've just hit next and it shows you your overview and we are going to go ahead and just hit create promotion now thank you your promotion has been sent for review and it now shows pending approval if you want to view your promotions, you can go over here to your homepage and you can select promotions and you can see which promotions you have that are active and inactive. So right now you'll see that both of my promotions are in review and they have zero dollars out of the total spent. One thing that is also very fantastic is you can cancel your promotions halfway through. So if you go to your active promotions and you click on one and let's say this one had already so if you go to your active promotions, you can actually go down to the bottom and cancel the promotion. So let's say you've only spent five out of $10 or 10 out of $20 and you don't feel like that promotion is worth it, then you can cancel it at any time. This is something a lot of people don't know and they think they're just gonna get into trouble and spend a lot of money and that's not the case. You have to go ahead and just dial these in, get them to where you'll see maximized results but you can always cancel them at any point in time with, with some of that budget being spent but not spending that full budget. Also now we can click on inactive and see some of my previously ran promotions. You'll see how much money I put towards them. You'll see the target audience that we've hit uh, and, and also the results they get. And so, so we have ran a lot of promotions I'll tell you a little bit more about that. So if I had to guess in the last year, I've probably spent two to $3,000 on promoting posts, which I feel is not enough given the fact that you could grow that much faster if you are dedicated to investing in yourself. And, uh, and I've seen such great results. It has led me to things such as receiving up to $3,000 in fishing rods from companies. I have received the Yakima roof rack on our Subaru STI, $1,500 for the rod case, the rack, and the kayak mounts. $1,500, we received it for free from Yakima to go ahead and just trade them for posts and pictures for the equipment. Also, when it comes to fishing baits, we've received over $1,000 in free baits and lures for our videos that we film on a day-to-day -day basis because of the reach we can get and the posts that we make. We have received so much in free product. At this point, the amount of free product we've received from doing different reviews is closing in on $10,000 worth of product, and we are a smaller page if you ask me. If you ask me, 35,000 followers where we're at at the time of making this video is not a large page and also our YouTube channel is smaller in relation to many of these larger influencers and so I 
I can't imagine the opportunity going forward and what I'm trying to help you guys with and growing your pages and understanding the potential that you have. My previous video that I have in the top of the description showing you guys how we hit 35,000 followers in one year covers everything we have done aside from promoting posts, which I felt deserved its, an, its own video. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you spend a little bit of money on yourself, invest in your page and grow your influence around whatever it is you love doing and start making some money with it. Let's go out here in 2020 and make it happen. Hey! <gasps>